Thank you for joining us for another trip down memory lane. The 1950s were a defining era for the automotive industry, especially in the United States. Post-war affluence and technological advances gave birth to designs that were both a reflection of the optimism of the times and a statement of prosperity. Cars were more than just a means of transportation. They became symbols of status, freedom, and the American dream. The design of 1950s cars was characterized by excess and opulence. Chrome embellishments, tail fins, wide bodies, and vibrant colors were the norm. Designers took inspiration from the burgeoning jet age, and it was common to see vehicles that mimicked the sleek, aerodynamic lines of airplanes. Hood ornaments were not merely branding, but a statement of motion and progress. Cars like the 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air and the Cadillac Eldorado are quintessential examples of this design philosophy. One cannot discuss the design of the 50s without mentioning the tail fin. Popularized by the likes of Harley Earl of General Motors, these vertical protrusions were not only aesthetic, but also claimed to improve vehicle stability by mimicking the aerospace industry. The 1959 Cadillac Eldorado boasted the most prominent fins, which have since become iconic. For the family in the 1950s, the car was at the center of social life. It was the vessel for the Sunday drive, the trip to the drive-in movie theater, or the family vacation. The spacious interiors reflected the suburban lifestyle, allowing for comfortable family trips with room to spare. The car was a place for bonding, a private space for public display, and a retreat from the confines of home life. Cars in the 1950s also became a canvas for personal expression. They were often customized, with owners adding their own touches to the factory design. This was especially true among the youth, for whom a car could be a personal sanctuary or a social space for friends. Under the hood and inside the cabin, 1950s cars were equipped with features that were innovative for their time. Power steering and power brakes became more common, making cars easier and safer to drive. Automatic transmissions such as Chevrolet's Powerglide became more refined and widespread, representing the pinnacle of convenience and modernity. The introduction of features like air conditioning and AM radio transformed the driving experience, turning cars into comfortable, entertainment-filled environments. Seat belts, though not as universally adopted as they are today, started to make their appearance for safety. Some models offered futuristic features, like the push-button transmission used in the Ed Cell and the Autronic Eye, an automatic headlight dimming system. While these innovations varied in their practicality and long-term adoption, they were testaments to the forward-looking spirit of the era. The cars of the 1950s were more than just transportation. They were a cultural phenomenon that encapsulated the spirit of the decade. They were rolling sculptures that reflected the aspirations and the artistic sensibilities of the post-war world. The style and design of these vehicles made a statement about the driver and the family within, while the technological features showcased a belief in progress and innovation. The legacy of these automotive icons continues to influence design and culture, even today serving as a nostalgic reminder of a bygone era of optimism and extravagance.